Welcome back to the Tree of Life Crochet Along. Uh, this is going to be part 96 of the Crochet Along. Uh, we are working on the leaves edging. Um, in this row, we're going to um, be working on the two rows after the leaves that we've made. And in the last video, I told you to um, make the leaves, just the leaves, the entire length around uh, the perimeter of the afghan okay and I also told you I didn't know how many you needed to make it was anywhere from 104 to 106 and I was wrong I well maybe I was right um, for your afghan but I don't know what happened to mine uh, I needed 107 leaves for my afghan um, I don't know why, but it looks just fine, and I'm not going to argue with it. I'm certainly not going to take it all apart uh, just to make sure the numbers are completely even on each side or top and bottom. But I, it turned out to need one extra leaf along the bottom edge, and I don't know why or how, but it looks fine. So, I mean, if yours ends up like that, don't panic. It looks fine. But, you know, if yours does end up perfectly spaced and even, excuse me, then that's awesome. For some reason, I just couldn't do it. Um, I ended up with 24 uh, leaves on the top and 25 on the bottom. And the sides matched up, which surprised me. I thought I would be one off or probably two off on one of the sides and um, I don't know it just worked out like that but I needed 107 leaves so I was one leaf short um, because you have to make the entire edging and then sew it on and if you if you've made too many leaves then you just uh, you frog it but before you can frog it you have to make sure that you leave um, that you don't tie everything off so that you can frog it. Um, and I'm going to show you my blanket. Here it is. Um, here's where I started. And I picked just not the corner. I picked a little in from the corner and I started um, sewing on the leaves. And then I came around all the way around and I, I was sure to put, um, to pick up one back loop for every crab stitch. And I was still one short, exactly one short. There was room enough for one more leaf. So I went ahead and made the leaf and then added the rest onto it. And then I, went ahead and sewed it on and now um, in a little bit I'll be um, connecting where the crab stitch row is and also the leaves are connected so I'll be um, connecting the leaf so it's not a big deal it'll look just fine and even if you accidentally make too many leaves and maybe they overlap a little that might look fine too nobody's gonna know probably or maybe you can fix it to where um, you can frog it um, undo it whenever you're done uh, if you've made too many but adding one was easier I think than frogging um, anyway so that happened but it'll look fine I, I love it just the same and in this video we are going to do exactly what the pattern says we're going to still work on the right side of the leaves okay and we're going to whenever you're doing this whenever you're going on from the leaves going on to the next row you need to make sure that that tip that you made that has that little loop in it um, make sure it's on the left side make sure they're facing that way okay um, 
because it just won't work if you try to do it like this. So make sure they're pointing towards the left. Okay, and then we're going to work into the back loop, the third loop actually, and I'm going to zoom in so you can see. We're going to be working into the third loop of the three double crochets on top there. We're not going to turn our leaves over to the back. We're going to keep it right, keep them right side up. And remember we have one, two, and three double crochets in the middle of our leaves. And you can see the V on top. That's the top of the stitches. And then you roll it over a little bit more towards you and you can see that third loop. So that's the loop we're going to be working into the third loop of the three double crochets. And they're easy to see. And if you can't find them, then you're probably, your leaf has probably accidentally turned over because they have the tendency to do that. And um, that's what happened to me a couple times with that thread, especially it was easy to, for it to do. And I couldn't find that back loop. But um, yes, try to keep it facing towards you and work into that third loop. And also we're going to be working into that space that we made over here at the tip of the leaf. This is where we're going to be putting our treble crochets. Okay. So let's get started. We are going to first make this round or this row actually is a row. We're going to make this row and then we're going to add the crab stitch on top of that and it's going to end up looking like this. And when we make our crab stitch, we're going to make it into under both loops, not just the front loop. Alrighty, so let's get started. Okay, I have, um, we had to tie off at the end of our leaves. Okay, so when you reach your last leaf, tie off, and I tied off after 106, um, and then I needed the extra one, so I made the extra one but it says to tie off when you're done with the leaves and then you um, get a new strand of yarn and we're going to make a slip knot. Okay. And we're going to pick up our leaves and we're going to look for that, for those three double crochets right in the middle. Okay, there's that single crochet and there's the double, the first double we're going to work into all three of those. Um, that first double, you see the V on top, and then you can see the back loop, the third loop actually. Um, we're going to insert our hook into that third loop. Okay, just like so. And we're going to yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the knot, the slip knot on your hook. Okay, so it's attached to the leaf now and we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Okay, and that counts as our first double crochet. And we're going to need two more double crochets. We're going to find that back loop of the next stitch, yarn over, and put a double crochet into that back loop. So there's number two. There's our third double crochet. Okay. And then we're going to chain one, and then we're going to yarn over twice. And we're going to work a treble crochet into the tip of the leaf, that space that we made. Okay, it easily goes in there. Okay, pull up a loop. You have four loops on your hook. We're gonna yarn over and pull through two, 
through two and through two and then we're going to chain one okay so we're going to be making three double crochets chain one treble chain one okay that's what we're going to re be repeating so we're going to start all over again on the next leaf we're going to yarn over once and go into that back loop of that first double crochet and make a double crochet and then yarn over into the next stitch that third loop double crochet yarn over into the next stitch into the third loop double crochet okay and then we're going to always chain one before and after our treble crochet okay so chain one and then treble crochet into that tip and then chain one okay and that's how it's going to look Let's try it again. There are the three double crochets and the three back loops and we're going to put a double crochet into each one of those. One. Two. And three, chain one, yarn over twice, put a treble crochet into the tip of the leaf, and chain one. Okay, and there's three leaves done. And now we're going to do it again. Three double crochets into the back loops. So yarn over. One. Two. and three and now when you get to the last leaf we're going to do one chain and a treble crochet into the tip okay and then you'll be done okay and then you can don't tie off whenever you're done with this entire row all the way around your leaves um, then we're going to we're not going to finish with a chain one we're going to finish with a treble crochet and then let's look at our instructions chain one do not turn reverse single crochet or crab stitch in each stitch across and then you can fasten off Okay, so here, from here we do our crab stitch. Okay, so we're going to do our chain one. Okay, so chain one. And then into that very first stitch, we're going to put our first crab stitch. And we're gonna go under both loops. Okay, so just insert your hook. And we've already done the crab stitch quite a few times. Okay, so you should have, um, you should be able to count after this first one. These um, chains are a little more difficult to get into, but we can do it. Okay, so 
count three for your three double crochets. One, two, three, and then count three for your next set of stitches, your chain one and your treble crochet and your chain one. Okay, and that way you won't miss any of these stitches. You'll get a reverse single crochet into every stitch. If you just count in threes like that, um, especially as monotonous as it gets, going all the way around, um, all the way down this long row, of stitches with a single crochet or a reverse single crochet. So I'm in my first one. There's one. And the hole, since we didn't turn, the hole that we're going to be working into is to the right of the post for a stitch. Okay, and when we were working in our afghan, we were when we were turning our work back and forth, the um the po it was the post and then the hole. But we didn't turn this is the right side so it's going to be the post and the hole on the right side okay so that belongs to that post okay here's my second one one two and three for the slip stitch i'm sorry the chain okay and then i'm at my double crochets One, two, three. Okay, and now I'm at my chain, treble, and chain. Okay, with reverse single crochet all the way down. One, two, I split that stitch. Let me make sure. Okay. And three. Okay. So I've done a couple of leaves so far. Okay. So we have a few more left to do on this uh, sample piece. And this is all I'm going to show you in this video, and then we'll continue in the next video. Okay, so I'm just going to finish the crab stitch row with you, and um, go under both loops. Do your crab stitch. Was one, two, and three. Okay, and then we have to work into the chains. And if you just cannot get your hook in there, I guess just put it over, put it through the big hole. And I don't think it'll really hurt anything. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to get in there. Okay, but just make sure you get the right amount of crab stitches in. Okay, there's one. And then I have my treble in one more chain. Two. It's kind of difficult to get in there. Okay. And three. Okay, and then I have three more left to do. Okay. Be sure to go under both loops at the top of each stitch. One. 
and two, and then we're coming up on the first double crochet, which is actually a chain three. Remember where we joined and did a chain three. We're going to go through, just go into that top one, two, three, that third chain at the top. And you can go under that front loop. If you do that, then you'll have two loops on top. Pull up a loop and work your last crab stitch. Okay, and then you're going to um, tie off. So you're going to make a chain and then you're going to cut and then put your finger in that loop pull it out tighten it and then you have a tail to weave in and you have tails to weave in over here and one tail at the end of your leaves okay so that's it that is um, what we're going to be sewing on to our edge to our border of our afghan and I made a little sample piece here of um, of the border of our afghan okay just like it is on our afghan so that you could so that the thread will be big enough for you to see what I'm doing and there's the back loop that we didn't work into on our afghan and we're going to be attaching our crab stitch to that loop Okay, but that's for the next video because this one's already 20, almost 22 minutes. Um, so um, that is the entire edging that we'll be putting on. And I'm really sorry about the discrepancy of the, um, the leaves, you know, the way it turned out for me with one extra. Um, but I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I would still do 106 and maybe yours is even and it's so much easier to add uh, extra leaves than it is to try to frog this edging because it is it's more than one row and you had to tie off and start over and yeah I would just I would do that I would um, I would make 106 and then if I had to add more I would but anyway so I will see you in the next video and we'll be attaching the edging to our Afghan border and thank you for joining me